Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create a tabular dataset in Vertex AI through the Python SDK. So first, let's discuss what are the options and the options are um, free. So uh, in terms of the input that you can use for that, first of that is a table from the BigQuery. Second is a CSV file from Google Cloud Storage or third is a pandas data frame. So those are the three options and I will go through each and every one of them. So now let's jump straight to the Jupyter Notebook to do all the tasks. All right, so here we are in Jupyter Notebook um, and let us start with a quick setup for our tutorial. So I'm just importing library, initializing connection with the specified uh, location. And before I execute this code, which will allow us to upload the, uh, to basically create a dataset, let, let's go to the uh, BigQuery. Here I have my um, like uh, dataset, and inside of this dataset I have this diabetes um, table, and all we need to do is really this uh, table ID. Us will use this as our BigQuery source. Um, the second thing that we also need to define is the dataset display name. Uh, this is a name which will be displayed inside the Vertex AI. And really that's it. Uh, we just need to, uh, once we have those two things, we are uh, ready to uh, create the tabular dataset uh, with this uh, method. And then we just need to wait for a data set to be created. So let's do this. Um, yeah, so it was successful. Uh, you can see that we have this um, created in inside of our project uh, and the uh, location that we specified, and that's the ID of a data set. So now let's go to the um, Vertex AI. And let me refresh the page. And now you, you see that the um, data set was successfully created. And if you would like to use this data set um, in some other tasks, all you need to do is get it by its resource name. And that, that's how you will be able to retrieve this data set from, uh, from the Vertex AI. OK. Now let's go to the second method, which is data set from cloud storage. And inside of the cloud storage, um, I have also like this diabetes CSV file. So this is inside of my uh, bucket. And all I need to have is again like this um, uh, URL for our data set. So let me copy that. And this is used here inside or inside the GCA source. Um, the second thing, again, we are defining the dataset name. And uh, yeah, here you can see that there was a sl uh, there is a slight change. Instead of uh, BigQuery source, which was there, we we are giving like the GCS source. So so that's important thing to remember. So let's run this code and now back to the vertex AI. Once I refresh, we see that there's like a, our second data set called diabetes uh, GCS. So now let's go to the final method, uh, which is uh, creating a data set from data frame. And uh, very important thing is to remember that um, with this method, um, what is actually happening is that we are uploading uh, like specific data frame, Pandas data frame, first to the uh, BigQuery. So we need to give like uh, a staging path to the BigQuery. And this is something what I defined right here. 
and then this uh, table is registered inside the um, Vertex AI. So, so it's important to remember that the Vertex AI does not store its data. It's, it's more reference to the BigQuery table. Uh, but again, so I'm, I'm creating this uh, BigQuery staging path. So it will be uh, table will be called diabetes underscore df. Uh, I, I'm reading the actual CSV, which I have uh, here with me. Uh, I'm also defining a display name. It will be diabetes underscore df. And let's run the code and see what happens. So it was successful. As you can see, it gave us uh, a warning that our data frame has only 768 rows and AutoML requires 1000 rows. Um, this is true. Like uh, such small data sets uh, will not be useful. We won't be able to use it with the AutoML, but we'll be still able to use it as our, um, with like the custom uh, training jobs. Um, but, um, okay, it was created. So let's go again to the Vertex AI. And you can hear, see that uh, here's this uh, new um, data set registered. Um, but as I mentioned, it should be also inside uh, the BigQuery. So let's jump to the BigQuery and let me refresh uh refresh uh this page so now you can see that we have also like this diabetes underscore uh, df in 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 our workspace here um so yeah, that concludes uh, those uh, three methods. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.